I know it may not look like it, but I've been around a while. <laughs> when you get to be my age, certain things become clearer than ever. I know the American story. Again and again, I've seen the contest between competing forces in the battle for the soul of our nation between those who want to pull America back to the past and those who want to move America into the future. That's just one example of President Joe Biden not holding back in an at times feisty State of the Union speech, his last before he is up for re-election. Of course, his opponent believed to be ex-president, former president Donald Trump this November. Yep, it's all but certain it's going to be a rematch pending other issues. A little self-deprecating humor from President Biden. Mm -hmm. His wide-ranging address was often punctuated by heckling from Republican members of Congress, but he rarely let them have the last word. That's so true and here to talk about it all is Stephen Caliendo from North Central College in Naperville. We always like to have you on. Thank you so Thank much you for, for Natalie joining Clyde, us. Stephen. It's good to <laughs> see you. I appreciate you noticing, Ryan. Thank you so of much. Thank you. So, you know, one, one thing I want to start off with is the fact that President Biden really started off after some comments, started his speech with, you know, his hard stance on uh, Russian President That's Vladimir right. Putin not That's being right. an ally, right. you know, standing up to him, mm -hmm. talking international um, issues as opposed to domestic ones. Um, what do you think of the way to start the speech in that regard? And did his tone and demeanor ease any concerns he's not, no longer fit to do the job? I had to turn the volume down when he first started. He was really energetic, and I think that was on purpose. And when they coached him, he was certainly made sure he brought the energy. But he maintained that throughout the speech, and that was really important. I think the thing to show because his age has such, a, such been such an issue in the campaign so far. The, the starting with Russia was a really smart move because. It, it, it combines campaign rhetoric with legislation. This is supposed to be a State of the Union address, not a campaign kickoff. Mm -hmm. But in, in, a, in a campaign year, you can't help but, but be talking about politics. But there's a bill, right? He's trying to get funding for Ukraine. He's trying to get funding uh, to, to help uh, Israel, for instance. He didn't want to start with Israel because that's much trickier, especially in his own party. He got to that later in the speech. And so starting with Russia made good sense. As far as domestic issues, in particular immigration and the economy, did President Biden hit the right notes from your vantage point? Well, I mean, I, my vantage point is only as important as, as what, the, what the potential voters think. I think, you know, in his own party, uh, he has some tension with the far left. Uh, that was, you know, especially uh, economics, that was a pretty, pr pretty progressive speech. Um, he was talking about getting, making sure we don't go back to trickle-down economics. He was talking about the wealthy paying their fair share. He was talking about increasing corporate tax rate and tax rate on millionaires and billionaires. While touting and so, his own accomplishments. At, at the same time, yeah. trying to say, look, this is what we've done so far. We've reduced the deficit. Said it's from what we inherited, etc. Were you impressed with his demeanor overall, though, yes. in terms of actually easing some concerns out there? Did he hit there's the no mark? There's no question. Feisty, we, we yeah. heard that. Yeah, uh, yeah there's no I, question. Resolute, I would think, too. He seemed very. That's that's right. And, and, and I think that you let Joe Biden be the Joe Biden, you know, we've known for 50 years. Um, when he got off script and when he ad libbed and when he poked, remember, he was a member of that body for a long time. That's very different than when President Trump comes and he's an outsider, which is what a lot of people like about President. Trump. He's an outsider. Mm -hmm. But President Biden can't use that. He has a different sort of demeanor. And so when he points at Lindsey Graham, as we just saw in the clip, yeah. for instance, and he mentions <laughs> Nancy Pelosi by name, and when he, you know, ma makes the jokes about, uh, he, they said he was too young, and now they're saying he's too old. I mean, he has a history there that his speechwriters did a really nice job setting him up for. Also mm -hmm. getting a lot of attention this morning is the Republican response to President Biden's uh, uh, State of the Union address from the Alabama freshman Senator Katie Britt. Let's take a listen. The true unvarnished state of our union begins and ends with this. Our families are hurting. Our country can do better. And you don't have to look any further than the crisis at our southern border to see it. President Your thoughts? That was odd. <laughs> Uh, it was odd, and I, and I mean, I, I think, you know, there, we understand what they're doing. Like, we, when you think about where's the battle going to be fought in the suburbs, women voters, for sure, especially with, with the Dobbs decision, um, there's, there's, I think the Democrats really think they have, a, they have a, 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 an angle to go there. And so the Republicans are trying to head that off, not to mention the, the, the youngest female senator ever elected compared against a, a president who, of course, his age is an issue. 
But you think about Make America Great Again, and we always ask, what does again mean? And then you put a woman in her kitchen, uh, and then she's sort of reading it like it was a, a high school theater. Yeah. It was very, it was a very dramatic odd thing. Being understood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah mellow odd. dramatic yeah. perhaps yeah. Yeah. would be odd. the correct uh, word for that. <laughs> All right, North Central College. Uh, Political science professor and uh, very knowledgeable um, <laughs> thank you, Dana. Uh, comrade. We thank you very much for being with us this morning. It's great Stephen to be Hellion. with you. Thank, thank you. Stephen. Thank you so much.